eco-vegans out there. I'm Whitney Lortzen of ecovegangal.com and thanks for tuning in for my healthy and sustainable weekly roundup. Got two amazing vegan products that I love right now. The first is So Delicious, No Sugar Added, Coconut Based Vegan Ice Cream. And it's amazing. Um, I've gone through all the different ingredients on here because I was so skeptical and I really couldn't find anything bad about any of them, which is amazing for a product that tastes sweet, but is only sweetened with erythritol. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I think it's very similar to like stevia and xylitol and all that stuff. Um, this is incredible, creamy. I've had the mint chocolate chip and the chocolate and I can't get enough. I know I try not to eat too many sweet things, but this is great when I want some ice cream. The next is Amand, which is an almond milk based yogurt alternative that is uh, sweetened with fruit juice. It's incredible, it's creamy, it comes in all these different flavors. I'd never have liked soy milk yogurt alternatives. The coconut uh, based vegan yogurts are, are usually highly sweetened, but this is, is great. It's got a nice balance of everything. The only downside is that it's in plastic, which is a great segue. The eco tip of the week is to shop at thrift stores if you're not already. Major, major tip. This is the easiest and most inexpensive way to be eco-friendly. I'm obsessed with thrift stores right now. I've got this whole pile of stuff to show you. Number one is the most exciting to me. It's the yogurt maker. Yeah. I was so excited to get this. It was only $10 and it was brand new at Salvation Army is where I got it. I've been wanting to make my own yo vegan yogurt for a while and I can't wait to experiment. They come in these cute little mini glasses. Ta-da! But they have plastic lids and it's mostly plastic, but I figure it's better than buying yogurt in plastic containers all the time, which really can't be recycled very easily. Um, so I'm stoked. I will definitely make a video on how to make your own yogurt because actually I'm having kind of a hard time finding it because I want to do soy free yogurt and um, sweetened with stevia or maybe not sweetened at all. So I've got a lot of research to do. The number two purchase is this. I know it doesn't seem that exciting but this matches my kitchen perfectly and what's best of all is that my boyfriend was even more excited about it. Now he's having tea all the time instead of other like soda and, and beer and all that other stuff. So this helped my boyfriend be healthier and it just made me happy because now we can have hot water a lot easier than heating up in a pan. Some other uh, kitchen essentials that I haven't had was a glass measuring cup. I was using a plastic one for the longest time and feeling awful about it. So I got rid of it when I moved to San Francisco and kept looking, looking, looking to buy a used glass because I like to buy things used. Found this, found this little measuring cup. I just find all these cute things and they're so cheap. And lastly, this thing, <laughs> so unnecessary, didn't need it, but I was just really excited about it because it's a milk frother. I love making drinks like Ticino lattes or the Frappuccino one if you saw my recent video um, and like tea lattes and I can never get the milk to be frothy like it is at the coffee shop so it just doesn't taste the same. This thing froths almond milk uh, with no electricity and it only has a little bit of plastic on it. The only downside is that I cannot for the life of me find where they sell these online. If you can find it, put it in the comments section. It's Insta Froth, Froth Maker. I've been making almond milk and I've used coconut kefir mixed with almond butter. Coconut kefir is another thing I need to talk about one day. I don't know, this gadget is just really, really fun, <laughs> but unnecessary. <laughs> My articles of the week tend to be kind of bummers, huh? But they're meant to be educational. Uh, the reason they stick out to me is because they're so shocking. This one is called Plastic and the Great Recycling Swindle. And I think the title kind of says it all. It really breaks down what happens to plastic even when you put it in the recycling bin. And unfortunately, it's not very good news. But it does remind you to use as little plastic and packaging as possible. That's some of the things that I've talked about in the video today. I'm a huge proponent for you know, no waste at all and not using plastic. I try to buy everything plastic free whenever I can, otherwise I make it myself. Of course it's not perfect and I've still got a long way to go, but reading articles like this can really inform you on how you can improve and why you should do it. The book of the week 
is Cafe Gratitude's I Am Grateful cookbook. Or actually, it's not really cookbook. It's just recipes because um, it's mostly raw. I love Cafe Gratitude. I love Gracias Madre, their Mexican restaurant. Got it from the library, so I didn't have to buy it. Um, and now I can just go through and try the recipes. So not, going to the library is another good eco tip. Anyways, not only are the recipes great in here, but the story in the beginning of this, the owner's journey is just so amazing and inspirational. Uh, I interviewed her daughter Molly, who owns Kind Cream in Los Angeles. You should check that video out. And I also saw uh, their movie, May I Be Frank, which you have to see. So this family is just amazing. You'll be so inspired to be a healthy vegan, I promise. Restaurant of the week is Hugo's in Los Angeles. I've collected all these photos of all the meals I've had there. I've been there for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I've taken friends there. I've been there for parties. I've had meetings there. Hugo's is phenomenal. They have such a huge vegan menu, and not only that, they're really catering towards soy-free and gluten-free vegans like myself. Website of the week is Mellow Meals. It's a whole website where they show you how to make vegan food for $3.33 a day. So anyone who says that eating vegan is, is expensive is, will be totally proven wrong once you visit this website. Um, of course, some things might not be organic as a compromise, so you'll have to adjust based on your own budget. But if, especially if you're starting out as a vegan, or if you don't have a lot of money right now, but you want to eat healthy, this is a really great resource for that. I couldn't decide on just one video for the week. Tofu the Vegan Zombie is an animated video that's just hilarious. And a fur seal being released back into the ocean is so sweet and touching. Oh my gosh, a little seal. I love videos like that. The shout out of the week goes to Two Degrees, which makes gluten-free and vegan bars. I haven't tried them because they contain sugar and I'm not eating sugar, um, but they look delicious. They come in some great flavors. But the reason I'm giving them a shout out today is because what they stand for. Similar to what Tom Shoes does, two degrees for every bar that you buy, they give a nutritional pack to a malnourished child. Did you know that there are 200 million hungry children in the world? Unfortunate. So do your part here. It's really easy. Next time you're craving a food bar, grab a two degrees bar so you can satisfy yourself and satisfy another person out there in the world. I'm changing up my format a little. Instead of the question of the week, I'm gonna give the answer of the week. Wheat, and wondering what my perspective is on eating wheat as part of a healthy diet. That could be a really long-winded question, but the short answer is, is that I personally don't eat gluten because it makes my whole body feel bloated and uncomfortable. It just doesn't sit well with me. I've never been tested, so I don't know if I'm allergic to gluten or anything. I just believe that I'm sensitive. I've lost weight by giving up gluten. Not everybody does. And I feel a lot better giving up gluten, but not everybody does. So I feel like gluten is one of those things that you should probably try eliminating from your diet. The advantages is that it comes, cuts out a lot of carbs. So you, I stopped eating a lot of bread products and baked goods and all of that unless they're gluten free. It also helped me cut out a lot of sugar. So overall my whole health started to improve. But ultimately you should consult with some sort of medical professional, be it a holistic doctor or a traditional doctor. The question of the week is for you. What is the best thing that you've ever bought from a thrift store, a garage sale, any sort of secondhand product? You can comment below on YouTube or on ecovegangal.com. Well, that's all I have for you today, but you can tune in every Monday for the weekly healthy and sustainable roundup. I also have a new video every single day. I've got video recipe interviews, restaurant reviews, event coverage, I've got eco-vegan dog stuff, I've got my eco Razzi good gossip show on their channel. The best thing that you can do is subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay up to date. I also recommend that you follow me on Facebook and or Twitter because uh, that's where I write several times a day, little blurbs, share articles, photos, videos, ask questions, really get a lot of engagement going and you can interact with other eco-vegans out there in the world. Of course, visit Eco Vegan Gal for more information. I'm Whitney Lauritsen, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.